the true genius of Porsche's new GT3, the second coming of the model on the 991 platform, is that even a master will never fully exploit it. That's the trait that defines the GT3, not just among Porsches but among the world's best driver's cars. As a result, it engenders fascination like almost nothing else. No matter how hard it's pushed, there's still magic to be discovered in its responses, beauty in its feedback, joy in its abilities. This is a machine wedded on the mill of necessity and unencumbered by frippery. It is noise and feel and heat and speed wrapped into a physically absurd package then distilled beyond what its design merits. The cumulative case it makes is this, when a driver unloads aggression into its controls, it doesn't balk. It doesn't plead for mechanical mercy. From its perspective, driving with purpose differs not at all from driving for pleasure. When much is asked of the GT3, it simply goes faster. It goes faster and then, like a bitterly defiant teenager, it doubles down, betting that what it can endure exceeds what you can supply. That is a profoundly fantastic thing for a sports car to do. A big part of the latest GT3's magic is conjured by its engine, a wicked, ripping salute to all that is right with flat sixes and natural aspiration. A new version of the 4.0-liter six-cylinder from the now-dead GT3 RS, it replaces the old GT3's...